Hello? Oh, is this the comic store? Or what is this? Uh, this is my cell phone, but I own a comic store. Well, why is it listed this way? I don't know. I well, don't have this number listed on anything. Well, it's it's in this issue on uh the wizard on the wizard locator. Okay. Uh, you, I want to talk about comics then. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's not for me. It's for my son. Okay. I'm trying to get some for him. Now, here's the thing, though, because what about violence? That's a concern as a parent. Yeah, I mean, the comics have a, a rating system on them, on modern comics, but that's all going to be, the, you know, up to your discretion. Well, what I'm, okay, what I would like to do is I'd like to get him, no, I don't want him with no guns or no swords or no, nothing, nothing sharp to poke him with. But um, are, there, are there any ones where they do, like, uh, um, hand-to-hand violence only, like, for punches and kicks um, and other uh, things like that that are, are non, like, non-life-threatening and just, just punches and other things that he could learn? Uh, that, I'm not sure if there would be anything that would designate, but if you look at it like Sonic the Hedgehog comics or other, like, kids' comics. Uh, well, it's, it's not, okay, but I'm looking for, because uh, they're saying there's all, there's all the violence, there's violence in it, and I'm thinking that that could be a good way for um, him to learn, like, how to defend himself. Um, so if, does Sonic throw any, does he, like, throw a sweep kick? Does he do an uppercut? Does he do any of that? Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's anything that would be considered uh, you know, educational for defense purposes. That's what I'm saying is, yeah, to teach, to, just to teach him, like, not not how, to, not how to be a bully, but, you know, just how to, how to maybe how to kick a bully's ass or anything if it came to it. Yeah. With, I, with I, the I, violence in it that way. And that's why I don't, I don't, wanna don't, give, I don't want to give him that. anything with weapons. I don't want to give him any bad ideas. I don't want to do anything like that. I'm a responsible parent. You know, I just want to teach him, you know, just how to fight with his fists and stuff. That's all. Yeah, I don't have anything offhand that I could recommend that would satisfy that specific uh, request. Now, let me ask you this, because he wants to do Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Um, I went to go see the movies, you know, you know, you can watch, you can watch the movies and you know what they're about and stuff. But the, and now there's all these different stories and Spider-Man's doing all these different things. I'm worried about the, uh, the different life lessons that he might learn from something like that. Yeah, I mean that's again, that's all going to be kind of up to parent, parental discretion. You don't almost have to pick stuff up. Well, okay. And now, does, does the Spider-Man comic does that ever deal with like um? Does it ever deal with like drugs at all? I, so a lot of times, uh, books from like the '90s and prior, when they referenced drugs, it was ambiguous and it was just drugs and not specific things. Mm-hmm. Uh, anymore, they're you know they're not as particular about that. Well, yeah, I'm worried about the lessons that he might learn. Like, what would, um, it, for example, um, I guess from the '90s, maybe you're talking. Like, what would, like, what would Spider-Man from the '90s do if they had found out, um, if Spider-Man had found out that his dad was selling cocaine? Uh, well, he would have been shocked because his parents had been dead his whole life at that point. Well, I just mean he, we wouldn't, like, he, we wouldn't be, <laughs> would it would be reinforcing him to tell his, his teachers or his parents or something. Uh, yeah, I, it, I don't have, you, you're asking very specific hypotheticals that I don't have the ability to answer. Well, there's certain things I don't want my son, you know, I don't want to get, get in the wrong idea from comic books, I'm saying. Right. Well then, okay, then what do I do then? Uh, so I, what, I just come down, I come down, where, do I come meet you at, are you at the house now, or where are you? Oh yeah, I'm at my house right now, I, okay. we're closed. I right, 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 right. Number, but yeah. The wizard. I located you. I like with the wizard. I used a wizard to locate him. Okay. I don't know what I mean. That's the. I don't know what else to tell you on that one. Um, I'm hoping that okay. maybe yeah. the wizard, maybe the wizard to locate other, they'll locate strange people and they'll locate them that way again and again and again and I'll like it. Maybe he's a good. Maybe he's a good wizard. Maybe he's a bad wizard. I don't know. I just met him so. Uh, but he found you, and he didn't have any problem with it. And you know all about comic books. So now, do you want to meet now, or do you want to wait until your house is or your house is open? When do you open? Do you open your house in the morning, or just just the store? The the store opens at 10 a.m. And then your house? Do you ever have visitors or anything? No, I'm, I'm sure. You got, never well, you got com- well, you got comics at your house, don't you? No, I, I keep them all at the store. Oh, okay. Just probably just video games then at your house. That's all right, though. I don't really play video games. Thank you. Okay. 